All right. Hello, hello, everyone. And now welcome, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I know the vast majority of you guys will be watching this through YouTube. Um, if you guys have not already done so, consider hitting the subscribe button, 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 hitting the like button, all of those things, um, as it definitely does help me out in terms of the YouTube metrics of my 60,000 plus subscribers. I think only like two to two, like two to 5,000 actually watch me. Um, actually maybe it's around 10,000, but only 10 uh, of those 10,000, only like 2,500 watch every video, something like that. I, I'm not sure how all of that marketing does get along. All right. I'm off the bed. See a 42, 42. Thank you for having all the answers. Um, all right, let's go ahead and take a look. This is going to be sock versus blade this time here on echo isle. Over here on the top left, we have Sock spawning as the red human. Meanwhile, over here on the top right, we have Blade spawning as the blue human. That is, it will be a Mountain King going up against an Archmage. Archmage. Now coming across here, let's take a look. Um, Footman, uh, Archmage, Archangel, Arch Archangel, or is it Arch, Arch, Archmage or Archmage? It's Arch. Uh. Archon, Archangel. Ah, I keep on getting confused. Yo, Kodo, could we have some life games in the future? Thank you. If I see life games, I will cast life games. Um, I've been trying to cast more NetEase games because I know a lot of viewers out there don't have that particular client and cannot watch those games. Um, some it's a little bit difficult for some people to to get through all of the all the Chinese. I um, actually had my wife um, sign me up for the account. So yes, if anyone ever sees Mrs. Time Nazi on my stream, um, no, well, that, that's my wife. Anyways, Mountain King now making its way down across over here. Militia footmen are going to go ahead and engage, take down this creep pamp with a big thunderclap across four units already, minimizing the amount of damage, but more importantly, dealing a lot of damage back. Mercenary Camp Force Troll Shadow Priest should be picked up. Trying to hire one here, though, is actually very dangerous as a lightning shield. Oh, was that? I'm not quite sure how it was stopped as the Renegade Wizard will now get taken down. <clears throat> Renegade Wizard will end up falling right here. Mountain King gets up to level 2, has Boots of Speed, and now going after some of these Null Brutes instead. Back on the other side, Archmage also picked up a Forest Troll Shadow Priest. No big surprise there. One Forest Troll Shadow Priest will be able to heal a little bit more since he does have the benefits of a Brilliance Aura. But at the same time, this Forest Troll Shadow Priest will not be able to abolish magic from any Water Elementals. So a little bit of give and take right there. Uh, let's take a look back at what's going on. Archmage seeing that level 2 Ring of Protection. I'm going up against a boot of speed. Is that a Ring of Protection? Was that a plus 3? Yeah, plus attack. 3. All right, I was going to say. Um, what does that do? It, it gives him an effective 18% more hit points. 18%. Um, so what is that? It's about 80? Uh, 80? No, 90? 90, 90 more effective hit points. Archmage going to go ahead and water elemental push through a single unit right there. And is going to be able to take down a peasant. So big peasant loss already. As the water elemental now tries to pull back. Let's see what's going to be going on. As the footmen are now oh, rushing so on into attack. perhaps focus down some of these units. That arcane tower will finish off that water elemental. And well, the last shot. I'm not sure who the experience was. Um, if experience was granted to that mountain king. But the Mountain King is now sitting at level 3. Level 3 Mountain King Archmage off to the north trying to steal some of his opponent's experience as well. The Forest Troll Trapper will get taken down. A lone footman right there in Snare. Archmage going to go ahead and finish off this Forest Troll Trapper. A Forest Troll Berserker joining in on the fight. And that's a problem. Losing a Forest Troll Berserker. A big Thunderclap across multiple units. And it was a level 2 Thunderclap hitting multiple units. And Sock could end up losing a lot of units right here. There goes another Forest Troll Shadow Priest. Two big units lost. Archmage may actually be surrounded here as well as the Water Elemental trying to, well, slip away. All right, Water Elemental made just enough room for the units to get away as the Mountain King. Oh, is it going to be able to get in front? Oh, this is going to be a big deal. Archmage, one more shot. Scroll of Town Portal forced 
as, well, Sock is in a lot of trouble. Sock losing much of his army right there. Population count 24 to 34. You see the big difference. More importantly, that Mountain King, or just as important, that Mountain King is, uh, well, perhaps just a little bit shy or halfway to level 4 already. Archmage over here, same thing. I'm wondering where the experience went. Perhaps the difference between creeping versus losing your units to your opponent that is in fact a double a double whammy. Mountain King now looking to back up here, low on mana expansion attempt now coming in from Blade, and I, I believe Sock cannot uh, allow this game to go Blade long. If Sock lets this game go long, he is going to be in a world of hurt, as he perhaps may be going for another Alchemist here to try and bounce back and get back into the swing of things. We are also only sitting at Town Hall here, so it is going to be a Tier 2 advantage with perhaps a dual Spellbreakers and Priest going up against, well, an economic advantage that has not yet taken root. Mountain King coming in from the side could get a, stor a Stormbolt. Nope, will not try and do a Stormbolt at all. As you know, the Stormbolt is only the level 1 variety as the Alchemist now runs back across. All right, here you go. Water Elemental. Double Water Elementals in that front position. Forest Troll Shadow Priest. There is that healing spray, saving a lot of those units. Footman now trying to run back. Uh, Forest Troll Shadow Priest getting away at 11 hit points. That is, in fact, a big deal as the Mountain King gets up to level 4. Level 2 Stormbolt is available as that Archmage now tries to run around in a circle. Forest Troll Shadow Priest um, still back across over here. Is it? Well, what's going on? The Mountain King is just playing run around the army and suffering way too much damage too too focused on a single unit right there archmage may be able to get off a one more shot no mid throw decides to back off as the mountain king sits at level four all right four footmen and still fighting across over here water elementals are here as well there goes another and sock is doing a great job a blade um, Blade did a lot of damage early on, but I, is it going to really matter very much as the Mountain King now tries to run back? All right, all of these units back over here. We are looking at the mercenary camp trying to be used in order to tip the scales to get a stronger advantage in terms of army size. And these are all essentially tier 1.5 units as Water Elementals are here to try and put down a bit of pressure as well. Water Elemental down to 579 some odd hit points. Sorceress, Priest, and Footman are here archmage alchemist blade well with the mercenary hires has the right combination of units as long as blade doesn't make a, a, a drastic mistake here he should be in the dominant position of this game hi wyatt how are you doing mountain king sitting at level four a little bit of poison being spread across multiple units here archmage still sitting at level three uh, let's see what is going to be book bot tome of retraining interesting slow also as well as the archmage well gets in a number of shots off onto that poor mountain king mountain king what is going to be happening oh there's the tome of retraining there's that brilliant aura all right mountain king there is the blizzard running past so many units and all of a sudden, well, do you try to chase in after all of that right there? Archmage is in position. Mountain King could be in trouble, could get taken down. Squirrel of Town Portal is forced. There is a blizzard. And is it going to focus down? Wow. So many waves. That blizzard just did so much damage. And we're still battling it right here. All right, blizzard raining down. Archmage does not have enough mana for another wave of blizzard. That could potentially be bad, though. Does it have enough? Oh, Footman going to get taken down. There it goes. Archmage really wants to get some damage across here. And it's purposely just, just trying to remove a lot of the healing. That is actually a brilliant move as Sock now comes in with some tower attempts as well. All right, let's take a look. Blizzard down. Let's take a look at the, some peasants going to get taken down. There you go. Economic advantage. Not really there yet. Alchemist gets to level two. Now has Acid Bomb available. There's the Acid Bomb. Bomb, and now Mountain King could be in trouble. There's a Thunderclap. Stormbolt onto the Forest Troll Berserker, but it needs to get away to try and survive. Forest Troll Berserker going to be able to head back. Archmage now at level 2 Brilliance Aura, and all of a sudden, Blade is in trouble. Another round of Blizzard, and all of a sudden, there goes another Peasant. There goes some more Peasants as they're trying to figure out where to go. They are just getting absolutely pelted down. All right. 
Scout Tower, Arcane Tower is going to be available right here. Archmage could try and, well, use a little bit of that Blizzard. Economic advantage has not really paid for it at all. There's more Blizzard. There's more dead peasants. There it goes. As we are taking a look at some of the Guard Towers getting taken down as well. There goes, wow, Blade is just absolutely losing it. What is he doing? Blade down to 25 supply and a game where he took an, an incredible, incredible early battle. All of a sudden, um, well, things have flipped. There is once again more Blizzard raining down. Guard towers do take 50% less damage from Blizzard since they are, what well, buildings, as we now see a bit of repair going on. Let's take a look. Archmage should be able to get up to more mana here in just a second. There it is. Up to enough. And Spellbreaker going to get taken down. Healing Spray not enough right there. All right. Let's take a look. Archmage just going to run on in. I'm going to Blizzard you down. Take down a couple of more Peasants. And also, well, more Peasants while you're at it. As you can see, another round of Blizzard could be coming in in just a second. There goes a Peasant. And another Peasant could get taken down. There it goes. Archmage gonna blizzard down these towers and with that said this expansion is gone 39 supply or 49 supply compared to 31 Archmage sitting at level 4 Mountain King sitting at level 4 Alchemist sitting at level 2 we are still or we are just now getting to into keep Archmage is out on the field but he can't do very much as we now perhaps need to see a large number of spell breakers to make that blizzard completely moot all right there goes some more units here alchemist picks up that tome of agility um archmage is right behind there you go stormboat onto the forest troll berserker forest troll berserker could get taken down archmage blizzarding back the other side as the mountain king now needs to head back alchemist almost at level three is going to be able to finish anything off there is another bit of slow damage there goes one more shot acid bomb level three now onto the alchemist as they could perhaps be heading back down to the south Peasants are, well, doing their job to try and take down this town hall. Peasants will get taken down right here. There's one, two, three. All right, a little bit of blizzard raining down on them as the spellbreakers will clean things up. 39 supply or 35 supply compared to 49. Sock is going to rebound, has rebounded from this game and is in the driver's seat now. Blade opting to go for the long game. And even though he had towers at his expansion, a critical, critical battle where the Mountain King just seemed to be um, on the loose and out of control could have been all it takes to, to cost him. Spellbreakers now chasing after those units there. Spellbreakers getting in some little bit of feedback damage as well. Priest taking some damage over time as they are now trying to get healed back up. All right, let's take a look. Mountain King could join in on the fight here. We are going to see a little bit of Creepjack Stormbolt onto, uh, onto the units right there. The Blizzard actually raining down. Blade able to flip the script using that Blizzard. And you can take a look. Healing Spray. I'm not quite sure who got that final shot off. A big Thunderclap, though. Healing Spray across multiple units, though. And once again, the Healing Spray is, is more than enough to counteract the Blizzard that's been raining down ensnare from a forest troll berserker causing problems once more we are at 50 supply compared to 49 archmage however almost level five alchemist solidly at level three as sock says you know what i can build an expansion here all right little does he know that his opponent has built a guard tower in the back he now spots this and says you know what I need to take this down before it gets up. This should end up just getting canceled. There you go. Get it taken out. As the economic advantage needle has now shifted over to Sock. Sock sitting at 57 supply. Uh, mining a little bit more gold. Meanwhile, Alchemist <clears throat> is off over here as well. We'll finish things down and now make its way off to the north. Archmage at one, no brilliant aura, very big deal, no sustained um, any sort of anything right there. Stormbolt not going down. There's Blizzard across multiple units. The spellbreakers are all lining up to take down units. As Blade doing a great job here, but now you're fighting at the Arcane Tower. 
Blizzard now raining down. Mountain King comes across on the inside. Stormbolt unable to healing spray. Slow across multiple units. Healing spray now coming across here. Potion of Lesser Invulnerability. Arcane Tower taken out. Beautiful play by Blade. But is it going to be enough as the Blizzard is raining down? Spellbreakers now joining in on the fight here as the Militia trying to come across from the north. All right, having an army of militia going up against uh, Blizzard is generally not a good idea. Just blizzarding himself right now. Peasants are falling to the wayside as the Archmage is standing in the Blizzard and healing spray, getting absolutely, well, um, healed back up. Archmage now down to 270 hit points, needs to get away. Looks like it will be able to do exactly that. There's a potion of healing. And now the Mountain King will fall at level 5. Blade had a small, small comeback. But in the end, it wasn't enough as the Mountain King falls as well. Sock able to even up. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.